Well, it's nice and cool now this time of the day. So I'm gonna go for, for a stroll. That's the hotel I'm staying in. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's a good location. I haven't really explored uh, the city yet. I only went for the temple. Uh, the Golden Temple, which is like the main, obviously, uh, attraction here. So I'm gonna go for a quick walk. And I want to show you a couple of things on the city. Maybe a little bit spicy. Not too much, because yeah. I know Indian food is very spicy. Thank you, brother. So I'm gonna try some uh, noodles. Uh, Chomen, actually. So Chomen, Chomen is uh, Chinese, eh? Chinese. Chinese noodles, yeah. yeah. those bottles what is this selling I don't know if it's like syrup or maybe it's just booze maybe he's making a he's a street cotton maker I have no idea I don't think so I don't think it would be legal to sell alcohol like that in the streets but why not I mean uh, after all uh, I'm not in a Muslim country anymore I think this was more a syrup those pastas are good man a lot of lot of flavors and it uh, cost me 40 cents 30 rupees yeah 40 cents 35 40 cents for the plate how expensive mm, it's good man just came across uh, Nitin here and he's got a, a beautiful bike a very good looking bike as well and he was saying he's very happy with the performance of it it's a uh, Royal Enfield, so the local manufacturer and the model is Himalayan, three, four, four thousand dollars brand new. So ideally, we would want to get something like that for for Sadiha. But uh, he was actually telling me that renting is probably a, a good option as well. So I'll see. I'll try to find a rental place around Amritsar and see if uh, we can get a good deal on a on a rental one. But rental means we have to bring it back, means it's only money, uh, you know, down the drain pretty much. It's money uh, wasted. Whereas uh, if you actually buy the bike, and let's say you buy this one for $2,000, well, you might sell it for, uh, for a loss at maybe, I don't know, even if it's $1,500, maybe you lose 500 bucks, but uh, renting would be way more expensive. So, and less convenient. So let's see, we'll explore our options. It is Kilar Kishwar. If you search on Google, world's most dangerous road, it will show this road. Most dangerous road. More da most in dangerous. World. In world. In the world. In the world. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. That sounds appealing. Yeah. Sounds like something I would do. Okay. Thanks a lot, brother. Yeah, Appreciate okay. it. Very nice of you. And pleasure to meet you, man. Okay. And ride safe. Hey. Local tea maker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You say, what's your name again? I forgot. How do you say, uh, what's your name in uh, Urdu? What? You speak Urdu? Urdu, no? No, Hindi. No. Hindi. Urdu, Hindi, very similar. Urdu, no, India, no. Urdu, no, India, no. Urdu, 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 in the Pakistan. I know, I know, I know, but uh, I think it's very similar. Yes. Yeah. How do you say, what's your name? Hindi? So the, the guy I spoke to before uh, with this uh, Himalayan bike, he, he kind of changed my mind. I mean, he kind of changed my plan, so I didn't know this was not a good period uh, to travel up north. He was telling me that pretty much now there's still too much snow on the roads and that I, I pretty much can't go, it's not worth it. So I have to wait until like late May. Uh, so I'll probably have to find something else to do in the meantime. So I could potentially, I suppose, go to Delhi and then maybe go back up uh, to enter like Ladakh. So all the Himalayans area and then go to go to Nepal eventually. I want to go to Nepal and spend a few weeks there, do some cool treks and all. 
But uh, yeah, so I've got to change my uh, plans now. I love the street corners, they're always busy as hell. You've got the kids with the juice, with the beautiful uh, juice stall. Those kids are unbelievable, they never stop. Hello brother, how are you? Good to see you. Look, they have fresh juices. The guy is working hard all day, he's making great juice. Always with a smile on his face. Thanks so much brother. And he sells juice for 20, 20 rupees? This, this rupees? Uh, Egg, egg juice, egg juice, this cookie, this cookie. See how it's got bananas, it's got grapes here, it's got pineapples, it's got uh, uh, papaya, 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 uh, oranges, so street corners, very busy. It's got the uh, SIM card uh, seller, the juice seller, you have uh, the, what is he selling? Rakesh Chat. Bonda. Hello bro. Uh, yeah, it's more like savory food here. We've got ice cream. And you've got all the taxis waiting at the corner. We've got different kind of uh, tuk tuk. We have the tricycle one. Hello boss, how are you? Very good. We even have the police. We even have the police here as well. Hello boss, how are you? Yeah, another ice cream seller, the tuk tuk. Uh, hello, boss. So, uh, yeah, very, very busy uh, street corners in India, as you can see. You see, even the roundabout itself. Oh, so many like street lights. <laughs> hello, boss. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you, sir? <laughs> what is your name? Sutas Singh. Oh, my name is Sutas Singh. Beautiful. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening, sir. Thank you. Take care. Very nice policeman. Uh, it's refreshing, really refreshing. In France, he would have probably beat the shit out of me for trying to shake his hand. <laughs> what? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, you have juice inside. For me? Oh, thank you so much. What, what's this? Oh, wow, wow, it's juicy one. Wow. Mm. How's the taste? Wow. No, no, one is okay. I had food before. It's very good. What is it? Do you know what it is? Golgappa. Golgappa. And do you know what's inside? What is the juice here? It's a potato. Okay. And sauce. And sauce. And sauce. Wow. Very tasty, yeah? Do you want some money? Do you want some money? No, no, sir. No? I can pay for yours. No, no. Sir. I'm happy to pay for yours. Thank no? you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very nice of you. Thank you so much, man. I, I came across this uh, gentleman. What is your name? My name is Harjit Chohan. Harjit Chohan. Beautiful. And he's got a very cool looking bike. So this is, I think it's a very uh, famous... It's the most expensive bike in Punjab. Oh wow, okay. And the name is? The model? Royal Enfield. Royal Enfield. Royal Enfield 2016 model. It's okay, and it's Bullet. Bullet is the model. In Punjabi, uh, you can say Bullet. Okay. That's a cool name. I like it. It's very nice. It's very... Uh, it's very classy as well. It's a mix of like a naked cafe racer. It's a very cool bike. Awesome. Can I can I ask you uh, how much it costs? Nowadays, uh, uh, you can take it in uh, two lakhs fifty thousand. Okay. And do you know like if I uh, second hand, how much would it be? No, no, no. Second hand, you can get. Uh, uh, I think one lakh seventy five thousand. One lakh seventy five. You can find one. Uh, and but new, you can take. 2 lakh 70, uh, 2 lakh 50 thousand. 2.5 lakh. 2.5 lakh. Okay, beautiful. And you are happy with it? Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah? I am uh, uh, driving this bike since 2016. Wow. And it works well. Fantastic. Wow, that's it's cool. It's a royal, royal. Wow. Aristocrat. <laughs> Good one. Do you want to start it? Can ah, you yeah. start it? Yeah, I want yeah, to yeah. listen to it, please. Yes. 
be long uh, exhaust pipe there. That's cool, man. Beautiful. So I just heard that this gentleman is a lawyer. So yeah, criminal lawyer. A criminal lawyer. So if I if I get into any troubles in India, ah, yeah, I, I will give you a call. Oh, you can get even my phone number, my WhatsApp number. There is no problem. You can call me at any time. I will <laughs> I will give any kind of support to you. Ah, no need to get worried. You are my guest. No need to get worried. Thank you so much. It's okay, very nice of you. I'll nice keep talking, that in mind. Nice talking. Nice. Likewise. Talking. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> that was cool. Of course I can call him at any time. He's a lawyer. So the fee will probably charge from the moment he picks up. 